Okay, hello, welcome back. So, this is another probably going to be long video where I do, similar to the Cleona video that I did a little bit ago, I'm going to be using all of the Shine by SD Reserve Collection and Looks. Please excuse this row. These are my Cleona shades with these seven shadows right here. I use them all in a look. I love Shine by SD. They're a Canadian black owned brand um, based out of Halifax, Nova Scotia and I just want everything that they offer but I bought these shades mm, I want to say in January of 2021 and I've been using them non-stop ever since. They're basically a collection of seven kind of sheer shifty iridescent toppery shades. I adore them. I think they're all so beautiful. Very on trend, very like <laughs> I don't fucking know. But you know, like they're they're beautiful, toppery, iridescent, shifty shades. They all have at least like they're all at least duochromes. Some of them have more than one shift going on. They're so sparkly, so beautiful. I love them so much and I just feel like I wanted to showcase this collection because I really think it deserves more love and I just, I adore it. So similar to what I did with my Cleona video, I guess if you haven't seen that, I'll link it down below if you wanna check that out. I basically just quickly run through each, like all the shadows that I use and all the looks, but I don't really go super in depth in terms of application and stuff just because <laughs> we'd be here forever and no one would watch it. I did more like different shapes and stuff with these just because they're not as shifty as the Cleona ones, so I wasn't as focused on trying to like capture all the shifts. So for each shade I did one pretty like structured look like a cut crease or a halo eye or something along the lines of that and then I also used all of the shades kind of in the way that I have it here. Basically I just buffed some shadows all over the crease. They're pretty similar typically in tone to what I use in the more structured look. Um, and then I patted this all over my lid just basically everywhere just because I feel like they're beautiful and structured looks but they just shine <laughs> so much. They're so so special if you just like tap them all over your lid over like an eyeshadow and they really transform based on whatever like uh, color or shadow you put underneath. So I just thought that I would also show that just to showcase their... I was going to say diversity. That's not the word I'm looking for. I don't know. Show their range. <laughs> They're talented guys. Um, yeah, I don't know. But <laughs> what I'm saying, uh, my brain isn't working. But I didn't end up, like, I didn't go into depth over through that process. I kind of just popped on and showed you what it looked like just because I'm just buffing shadows all over my lid. Like, it's not that complicated um but i i did want to still showcase that aspect of the shadows as well so there are like seven structured more like looks that i go through with you but i also pop in and do seven additional looks just like showcasing what these shadows look like as toppers as well because i love using them equally they're also beautiful inner corner shades i reach for them all of the time for that as well they're so versatile. That's the word I was looking for. They're so versatile and I just can't <laughs> rave about them enough. Okay, so <laughs> let's just get into the 714 looks using the Shine by SD Reserve Collection. Okay, hello. This is the first look in my Shine by SD Reserve Collection video. And I was gonna talk, but you know what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna not do that and just get right into it. So the first shade in the reserve bundle is surprise, surprise, reserve number one. I'm really gonna try to hopefully get this to focus. So the website describes this as having a yellow white base with a red shift, but I just feel like there's more to the shadow than that. To me, I see a blue shift in there as well even like a hint of green this is really dimensional and i feel like um i just want to use it all over my lid so we're going to do a half cut crease today i will for some of these shadows that aren't as shifty 
do other shapes, but today we're, we're sticking with my roots. And I'm going to bop back and forth between a whole bunch of palettes today. So the first palette that I'm using is the Deuce palette by Julia's Place. I'm just going to start with the shade Creme, which is this light pink shade. And I'm just going to run this through my crease as a transition shade. Okay, so on the outer part of my crease, I'm going to use the shade Gola from the Juvia's Place Warrior 3 palette. Pardon me. And I'm, like, yeah, like I said, going to put this on the outer half, outer third of my eye, and then oops, bring that halfway through my crease. This shade is going to take a little bit of building though. Okay, and so now I'm going to take the shade Fanti, which is this bright pink from the Warrior 3 palette. And I'm going to put this in the uh, first part of my crease. So now I'm going to deepen things up. I'm going to go into the Makeup Addiction Cosmetics Meadow Palette. I'm going to take this deep blue shade here. This is called Crushed Blueberry. And I'm going to put this through my outer corner of my crease just to deepen things up. I feel like I've been using so much pink and blue recently, but I just can't stop. So as you can see, I just finished up I, the rest of my eyes, I cut my crease, and then on my lower lash line, I used, I'll just show you, the um, pink shade Fanti from the Warrior 3 palette. I deepened it up with the shade Crushed Blueberry from the Meadow palette from Makeup Addiction Cosmetics, and I blended my lower lash line out with the cream shade from the Deuce palette from Juvia's Place. So let me just tap out my lid before we start. So I have some creasing here. And I'm just going to put this reserve number one shade all over my lid. I've never actually used this shade all over my lid, but I have been using this a ton in my inner corners. I'm gonna give this a little spray with water. And see, like, it's super blue. I'm honestly shocked that the website doesn't describe this as being more blue because the shift to me is, like, really blue-pink. But it's described as having a red shift, which I just think is interesting. And so, as you can see, it's very sheer. And it's definitely more of a topper shade. That doesn't bother me putting this all over the lid like I still think it, it's pretty um, and has like a really sparkly effect but it's not going to give you full full pigment. And they're a little bit flaky this shade especially but again it doesn't really bother me. I find that just wetting my brush does the trick and then I'll go in with my finger at the end. sheer but when I turn my head I wonder if you can see that the the pink it shifts pink and then when I look through the head it definitely looks blue but it almost has like a tealiness to it as well it's so pretty this is like my new favorite inner corner shade for sure and then I'm just going to take this on my finger I really think that fingers 
with flaky shapes like this out of the way um, but I just like to put it down initially with a brush it's still sheer but just intensifies it so pretty oh my god And then just to finish up my eyes, for my inner corners, I'm going to take the shade Tarte from the Deuce palette. It's a really pretty, like, light pinky shade. And then on my brow bone, I'm going to take the Champagne shade from the Meadow palette. It's called Sandstone. It's just, it's just like a satin champagne. This is the finished look. I had um, a malfunction with my eyeliner on this eye. It was very bad, and so it took me a while to get to this conclusion point. Anyway, um, on my lips, I used the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in 506 Endless Cacao, and I this is a mascara. And then I used the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Liquid, Liquid Lipstick in the shade Loyalist. And on my my lashes, which is very exciting, this is the Bold Face um, Makeup. These are the Dream Big Lashes from their Epic Collection, which I actually oh my God, got sent as PR, which is insane. Um, and I really like them. This is the first time that I've worn them. They're really fluffy and really pretty and actually a little bit softer than I typically go for. Um, and yeah, I really, really love this look. I, like I said, have been using pink and blue so much, and this is such a beautiful shadow. I honestly think that this is my number one shadow from the Reserve Collection. I think if you were interested in picking up just one, this is my favorite for sure. I really like it over, all over the lid. You can see the shift of the blue and the pink like as it's on my eyes. It's so beautiful, but also a stunning inner corner shade. All right, let's move on to the next look. Okay, so as I probably, I hope, mentioned in the intro of this video, this is reserve number one, just topped all over my lid um, more sheerly. I just gasped just because I feel like this is honestly how these shadows shine the most and it's so easy and I just thought I would show you what I paired with this um, just because why not right it's like two looks per shadow so I used a combination of the ColourPop Ooh La La palette and the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill um, volume 2 palette. So from the Ooh La La palette, I just used the shade Poodle as a transition shade and the shade Sandbar all over my lid and I blended it everywhere basically. And then from the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette, I used this deeper cranberry shade called Crazy to deepen things up and then I just took the shade Certified. This is just a matte white um, and I use that to highlight my brow bone. Oh, and also from the Ooh La La palette, I took the shade Tickled, which is this pretty like light pinky blue duochrome, and I put that in my inner corner. Everything else is the same from the previous look. I just did the exact same thing. I really love this, and I thought that I would play up some of the pink, just because I feel like the other look played to the blue tones a lot. And in these lights that I used to film with, you can really see the blue shine, but I just went into the bathroom and in like dimmer light, it looks like just basically hot pink all over my lid. I just love this shade so much. Definitely like number one from this whole collection. Okay, hello, welcome to the second look in this Shine by SD video. So today, <laughs> it's easy to guess all of the shadows that I'm going to be talking about. This is reserve number two. So the website describes this as having, oops, a gold base with a green shift. And I feel like this has more to it as well. Like there's definitely like a pinky peachiness to it. You can see the gold and the green. Um, so I'm going to also use this all over my lid again, just because 
I feel like this is the number one and two are like the most shifty of the bunch. So I just want to be able to show that off as best as I can. And <laughs> the palettes that I pulled today actually are two from ColourPop that I haven't used in a really long time. I'm going to start with the um, Dream Street palette in collaboration with Kathleen Lates. So I'm going to start off with this is the shade Magical. I haven't used these shadows in so so long and I'm going to run this just through my crease as like a peachy transition shade. If my eyes look slightly pink it's just from the pink eyeshadow that I wore yesterday. It just stained. Okay so now I'm going to go into the ColourPop Yes Please palette which is very old and I'm going to go into the shade Big Cocktails, which, <laughs> which is this peachy shade right here. And I'm just going to run this through my outer corner of my crease. I haven't done peaches in a long time. Okay, so that's all through my crease all through my crease and now I'm just going to take the shade French Kiss which is this dark brown and just use this to deepen things up. Okay so I just finished up my lower lash line and I obviously cut my crease. I love a peach. I forgot how much I love a peach, honestly. And now it is time to apply this beautiful little shadow. I'm just going to give that a little spray with water, get rid of the creasing that I have, and apply this all over my lid. It definitely takes, as you can see, building up, but they're just so beautiful. Because these are so flaky, I do find myself spraying my brush like twice throughout applying these all over the lid, which I don't mind. I just like to keep a little bit of that moisture there so they adhere better, the shadows. You can definitely see the peachiness when I turn my head to the side and that green is so beautiful. Okay and so I'm just going to intensify this with my finger. Oh yeah this is the way. That's so pretty. And then lastly, I'm just going to highlight my brow bone using the shade Full Zip. It's just this matte cream color. That's the word I was looking for. And then I'm probably just going to take my face highlighter for my inner corner, which is um, from the NARS Exposed Cheek Palette. It's just this highlight shade here. The actual shade name is Tell All, but that probably doesn't really matter. Okay, and this is the finished look. Really, I don't know. I really like it. This is the neutral look of the video. Super pretty. It definitely comes off as more of a gold on the eye with like the green flip. I think you, I can't really see in this light, but in low light is kind of when I can see it shift. And there's definitely like a peachy, pinky shift to it as well. Um, I really love this. They're just so sparkly and beautiful and this 
it's a good one especially if you're more of a neutral person but you want something a little bit more this is definitely a really really beautiful shadow on my lips i have the ColourPop ultra matte lip in the state shade chai chi chi maybe it's i think it's chi um i haven't worn this in a really long time <laughs> but i love me a matte brown lip um also i just have color pop puppy on my waterline it's an orange and then my lashes are bold faced makeup dream big which i've been absolutely loving recently all right let's just go into the next look okay so i'm just popping in for the second part of the second look um just showing you reserve number two tapped all over the lid i just i think this is a really fun way to do a neutral look with like a shadow like this because it definitely presents mostly gold but when you turn your head and i think in dimmer light you can see the green and then there's for sure a peachy almost pink hue slash shift to this so i just love this so much i'll just walk you through like what i did in my eyes again it's very simple um, I took this peachy shade that I used in my first look. I used only the ColourPop Dream Street palette. So I took this peachy shade Magical as a transition shade. I took this shade Potion, this just like warm brown all over my lid. And then I took the shade um, Elfish, I believe. This deep like warmer toned brown and I just used that to deepen everything up. And then I used the shade Mooney as a brow bone highlight but that's really kind of irrelevant. Everything else on my face is totally exactly the same as the first look. Let's move into reserve number three. Okay so welcome to the third look in this video. Today I'm using reserve number three. It's easy to guess which ones are coming. This is so beautiful. This is this is described by Shine by SD as having a red, pale red base with an orange and gold shift. You can definitely see this. It's so beautiful. You can see the orange really strongly when I hold it like on the side. So I'm going to do a halo eye because it just it doesn't have, it's really sparkly, but it doesn't have quite as like strong a shift as the other, as the other two shades that I used. So I'm going to do orange with this. I think it's going to look really pretty because it has that oranginess to it. I'm going to start off using the Dominique Cosmetics Rustic Glam Palette. This is an old one that I haven't used in a while. And I'm going to take the shade Desert Queen. This is this light orange shade here. And I'm just going to use this as a transition shade. So I'm just going to run this through my crease, um, trying to keep a more rounded shape. And please excuse the weird like texture that's on my eyes. My concealer is going a little bit weird today that I set down, but I feel like it, it probably won't be noticeable once I do my shadow. All right, so now I'm going to go into the Kaleidos Escape Pod palette. I'm going to take the shade Carnival, which is more of like a corally shade. And I'm just going to put this through my inner and outer corner and then connect this through my crease. Okay, so now I'm going to deepen everything up using this brown shade, Terrace, also from the Kaleidos Escape Pod. So I'm just going to take this on my, again, outer and inner part of my eye and then connect this through my crease as well. Okay, so I just um, cut my crease I finished up my lower lash line as well. I just took all the same shadows on my lower lash line. And now I'm going to take reserve number three. Again, as I have been doing, I'm just going to take this on a little flat brush and give this a spray. Def it's definitely going to be a little bit sheer just applying this with a brush, but I'm going to build it up.
Okay, so I built that up with the brush. And now I'm just going to take my finger and intensify that because this is just the best way to get the maximum effect. <laughs> there, that's super pretty. You can see the gold shift really strongly when I turn my head to the side. Again, I don't know that I would say that this is, I guess like pale red, yes. But it definitely is like pink, beautiful, and then shifts to gold pretty strongly. And I feel like these do really well with halo eyes just because they are a little bit more sheer. So they just give that little bit of like extra just sparkle. But you don't necessarily need them to be like super, super intense. I just think they're so, so pretty. And then for my inner corners, I'm just going to take the shade Starlight Sonata from the Kaleidos Escape Pod palette. Please excuse my washing machine. And then last but not least, I'm going to take the shade Lo-Fi from the Escape Pod palette and just use this to highlight my brow bone. Okay, so this is the finished look. I am a fan, I'm a fan. I love the way this looks on a halo eye paired with oranges. Ridiculous. Um, so, <laughs> um, on my lips I'm wearing the NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner in the shade Sandstorm and the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm and Fenty Glow. I'm not going to say that I feel like this is the perfect combination for this look, but I'm not going to say it's not the perfect combination for this look. Oh, I'm so obsessed with this. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Let's move on to, I guess, look 3.5 and then into the fourth. Okay, so I'm just popping in here with the second look. And I used all exactly the same things that I used um, on my eyes in the first look. I used like all the same shadows. I just put them all over my lid and then I put reserve number three on top. I absolutely love the way that this pairs with like corally oranges. I think it looks so striking. It's difficult to see here, but the like the way it pairs with the gold shift is just unreal. It looks really pink like head on, but when you turn your head, especially if there's like another light source or a dim light source, the gold shift in this is just beyond. All right, let's get into look number four. Hello. Okay, so this is look number four with reserve number four. This is described by Shine by SD as having a blue base with a purple shift. So I want to just go like really bluey purple in my crease. I'm going to be using both of the Beauty Bay palettes that I have, so the Book of Magic and the Sunset Horizons. Um, I'm going to start with the Book of Magic and I'm going to take the shade Enchanted here. It's a very light purple shade. And I'm just going to take that and run this through my crease as a transition shade. Okay, so now I'm going to go into the Beauty Bay Sunset Horizons palette. I'm going to take the shade Deep, which is a really beautiful like periwinkle shade. It honestly to me is like right in between purple and blue, so it works out well. And I'm just going to take this through my outer corner and my crease. Okay, so now I'm going to hop back into the Book of Magic palette and I'm going to go in with the shade Voodoo. And I'm going to use this to deepen up my crease. Okay, so I finished up the rest of my eyes, I cut my crease, and I just took all the same shadows on my lower lash line. Now it is time to apply this beautiful shade. 
So again, as I always have been doing, I'm just gonna pick some up on a brush and I'm just gonna spray it. And usually when I put the, uh, these shadows all over my lid, they take a little bit of building. But the end result is always worth it. This is such a beautiful shade, honestly. It looks like it's glowing on my eyes. It's so nice. So now I'm going to take this on my finger and intensify it. This is always my favorite part. And that the base just looks way stronger in terms of the blue. And I feel like you're gonna see I can see the purple shift in my finger but I think in like a dimmer light usually with these shadows that's when the shift shows I love the shade I love periwinkle shades it's so pretty and also shows up more opaque I think than any of the other the previous three that I've used so far you can definitely see the color very strongly just on like my skin tone. And then for um, my brow bone highlight, I'm just gonna use the shade Vanish from the Book of Magic palette. It's just like a little touch, so it's not really gonna do that much, but I'll, I just figured I'd tell you. And then for my inner corner, I'm actually just going to use the shade Moonlight, I think, from the Book of Magic palette as well, because it's just right in front of me here. And this is just basically like a light silvery shade. Okay, and this is the finished look. I love this. This might be, this is a contender for my favorite shade for sure. I just, you guys know how much I love purple and it's like the most beautiful periwinkle shade. I can't even handle it. Um, on my lips, I used an old little sample of the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in the shade Bocce. I haven't worn a color like this in so long. It's making my teeth look really yellow. And then I just used a black in my waterline. I used the Huda Beauty Life Liner. And my lashes are Bold Face Makeup Lashes in Dream Big. I, I've been obsessed with these, like literally obsessed. And then I just used a black in my outer corner. I just took the shade Hex from the Book of Magic palette. I pretty much I always use a black at the end after I put my liner on. Sometimes I just forget to tell you. Okay, let's move on to the next look. I hated that. <laughs> okay, you guys, and this is the fourth 4.5, look four and a half, um, with reserve at number four. I used all the same shadows that I used in the first look, and I just tapped this all over my lid. I think this looks so pretty. I think this shows just like, both the blue and the purple shift. I just love periwinkle shades like this. It's so, so nice. Um, yeah, and I'm super, super happy with this. Okay, hello. We are now joined together to do reserve number five. Okay, so this is reserve number five. It's a purple one. It's described on the website as having a purple base with a pink shift. We're going to go super colorful with this one today. 
So I'm going to start off by using the Afrique palette from Juvia's Place. And I'm going to start with this green shade right here called Niger. And I'm just going to take this and place it right in the front part of my eye. So right here. I'm going to go back and like probably fix this later, but I just want to like have this in the front part of my eyeball for now. And then I'm going to go into this bright blue shade called Cote d'Ivoire, which is honestly one of my favorite blue shadows at the moment. It's such a beautiful tone, and I'm just going to put this through the middle of my crease. But I just want to basically keep it here and then blend it into the green. I don't want to, I'm going to put another shadow on my outer corner so I don't want to take this like too, too far. Okay, and now I'm going to pop into the Juvia's Place, the Zulu palette. I'm going to take this purple shade. I'm going to put this just on the outer corner and like outer third of my eye. So I just kind of built all of those shades up and now I'm going to go into the Juvia's Place Magic palette and I'm going to take the shade Yejide and I'm going to take this on a small little brush just to add a little bit more definition through my crease but I really don't want to like take too much away so I'm really going to try to um just keep this low and not blend it out super, super high. Okay, so I just cut my crease and then I did my lower lash line. I just put the purple um, on my lower lash line to kind of tie the purple all in together. And I used the shade Kessie from the Magic Palette just to blend my lower lash line out. Um, so now, I'm going to use this beautiful Shine by SD shade. And as I have been doing, I'm just going to wet that with some water and put this all on my lid. And I'm sure as per all the rest of the shades, it's going to take a little bit of building up. Okay, so I've laid that base down and now I'm going to take my finger and just build it up. Now with just one light source, I can really clearly see the purple, but when I have it on my finger, I can see the pink and there's also like a gold sheen to it as well. So it's like pink and then gold. It's so pretty. I feel like with most of these shadows there's two at least for most of these obvious shifts and then depending on the way that the light hits it there's just like an extra color or element to it where it's not like explicitly described but it's more than just like a purple shadow shifting pink you know like there's gold in there just so pretty this is definitely you can build it up to be a little bit more opaque like you can see that there's a purple shadow on my lid for sure and then just to finish my eyes off i'm going to use my face highlighter which is from the abh dream glow kit i used this shade magic which is more of like a neutral beigey tone with a pink shift to it 
So I'm just going to put a little bit of that on my brow bone, just a little bit though. And then I'm going to take a little bit more of that. I'm going to give that a spray and then put this in my inner corner. Okay, and this is the finished look. I love it so much. This might be one of my favorites, I think. I just love purple. Every time I'm like, oh, it's just a purple shadow. And then I put it on and I'm like, oh, but it's so beautiful. It really, really is so stunning. On my lips, I just have my tried and true lip products. I have my Makeup Forever <laughs> Artist Lip Artist Color Pencil in the shade Endless Cacao 506 and my Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm and Diamond Milk. And that's all she wrote, baby. Let's get into the next look. Okay, so I'm just popping in and showing you the second look that I did with reserve number five. So I'm just going to quickly run through what I used. Um, I wanted to play up more of like the purple and I feel like this shows like how vibrant you can make these shadows. So I used the shade Bori, this bright pink from the Masquerade palette from Juvia's Place just as like an initial kind of blending shade and then I used the same purple from the Zulu palette that I used in my cr crease or like part of my crease in the first look and then I deepened everything up using the shade Ife from the Magic palette from Juvia's Place and then I used a Pat McGrath just like single black in my outer corner and I'm wearing like all the same all the same stuff that I used in my first look for this shade Let's truly now get on to look number six. Okay, welcome to the sixth look in this video using reserve number six. This is, hold on one second. This is described to have a turquoise green base with a blue shift. And I think that very accurately describes it. I've used this with like a true blue before, but I'm excited to do a like tealy turquoisey look um and i think i'm gonna do a halo wide today so i'm gonna start using the kaleidos electro turquoise palette i'm going to take this light this light tealy turquoisey shade and i'm just going to run this through my crease it's gonna look a little bit fucked right now i think because this pink is from um, eyeshadow staining from the eyeshadow that I wore yesterday. So we'll just see how this builds. Okay, so that took a little bit of building, but I managed to mask the pink in a way that I think looks all right. I'm going to go in with my tried and true beloved Melt Morte palette, and I'm going to take the shade Lagrimas, and I'm going to build this up and put this on my inner and outer corner and connect it through my crease. It's pretty much the same tone as the shade that I just used. It's just a little bit more vibrant and more pigmented, so. Okay, so I'm looking bright and green now. I'm gonna take this um, darker teal shade from the Electro Turquoise palette from Kaleidos. And I'm just going to deepen my crease with this. Okay, so I lied to you a little bit. This turquoise shade from the Electro Turquoise palette wasn't quite as deep as I wanted it to be, so I did end up taking the um, shade Duelo from the Melt palette and just use that in my crease because I every time I think I'm gonna use something else, I, I use this palette because it's perfect in every way. Um, and yeah, obviously I just did my lower lash line and all that shit. So now I'm going to take this beautiful shade. I feel really good about this look. I've been super into halo eyes recently. I used to never do them. I hated them. And now I'm like, I'm, I'm into it. And this right out the gate looks way more... It's sticking down more than a lot of the other shades, and it, you can see that it's much more opaque. That's so pretty. Oh my god. 
good. And you can definitely see the turquoise way more. I feel like the last time I used this in my first impressions, all over my lid, I paired it with like more of a true blue crease and it looked much more blue it's, to me. Just looking at it from the front looks super turquoise, but I can see in like a different light source, the shift to blue. If you're a blue lover, this is super beautiful. Now I'm going to just use my finger to intensify it. That's almost like full opacity. Like, I almost can barely see my actual skin showing through, which is really not like the other shades. The other shades were really sheer. And if you, if I turn my head to the side, I wonder if you could see it. And then finally to finish off, I'm just going to take this really beautiful icy like light gold shade from the Kaleidos palette. I'm going to take the slightest bit of this and just tap it onto my brow bone. And then I'm going to take this and give it like one spray just so it sticks down and put this in my inner corner. Okay you guys, so this is the finished look. So I ended up taking this dark gray shade from the Melt Palette, uh, the shade Pantheon. I just used that to darken up my inner and outer corners. And then I actually ended up taking the shade, as you hopefully can see, on the lower lash line. I haven't done this in so long, and I was just, I was feeling creative, <laughs> so I did it. I really like the way it looks. On my lips, I used an old favorite combo. I used the L'Oreal Color Reach Lip Liner in the shade 114 Matting Call. It's a little tiny baby. Um, and then I also used the MAC Matte Lipstick in Yash. And then I put a little bit of my NARS, just my concealer, in the center of my lips because I wanted to lighten it up a bit. And I don't have a ton or really any like super, super nude lipsticks. I lost the only one I had. So yeah, this is the finished look. I, I absolutely love it. I think this shade surprised me. It was probably my least favorite, like least... The shade that I was least excited for to use in this video and I, it's just blown me away. It has the most opacity of any of these uh, seven shades. I'm, I'm almost positive and it almost has like a goldenness to it when you look straight on in the shine and then you can see the blue when you turn your head to the side and if you pair this with like a true blue like I've, I've said before it does definitely look more blue, like you can see more of the true blue rather than like the turquoise ness to it. I really, really love this. I love using this in a halo eye. Um, if you're a blue or like green lover, I think the shade is, is just beautiful. It's so sparkly. And yeah, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. All right, that concludes this look. Let's get into the next one. Hello, welcome to the part two of this look using reserve number six and welcome to me procrastinating writing my thesis. <laughs> so I basically used mostly the same things except I used the Fairy Blush Palette from Likely Makeup which I just received in the mail two days so I just felt like I had to use it and I used the shade aquamarine just as my like transition shade um, instead and then I used the shade Noche Eterna instead of the shade Duelo to deepen like my crease and stuff up. It looks pretty similar I just maybe wanted to make it a little bit more blue to see if I could play up that blue like blue shift. And then I used the same light shade from the Kaleidos Electro Turquoise palette on my inner corner of my brow bone. And I also used Lagrimasse all over my lid as well from the Melt Muerte palette. And then everything else is exactly the same. And yeah, I just am so, so shockingly in love with the shadow. I cannot even get over how much I love it. And it was like my least... The one that I was least excited for, but I just feel like it sparkles so beautifully and 
it's a little bit difficult to capture I think on camera but I just I think the turquoise like main color the, I don't want to say base because it doesn't really have a base but the main way that this shines is turquoise and then I just think the like blue flip to it is so beautiful anyway I, I'm done talking but this is this is a surprising favorite okay and hello welcome to the final look in this video I feel like my camera's a bit there we go reserve using reserve number seven Shine by Esty describes this as having a yellow base with a green shift, which I think is really interesting because in person, to me, this looks like it has much more of a blue shift. So I'm going to be doing a halo eye today. I'm very excited about this look. I've been planning it for a while. I'm first going to start off using the Kaleidos and Club Nebula palette and I'm going to start with this blue shade 7 of 9 and I'm just going to run this oops run this through my crease as a transition shade I'm going to do a blue crease and then put that yellow in the center I think it's gonna look really nice okay so now I'm going to go into the Afrique palette by Juvia's Place which I have used at least once in this video already, and I'm going to go into the shade Cote d'Ivoire. I was gonna go in with a different shade because I've already used this, but it's just the exact tone of blue that I want, so I'm gonna use it. Um, and I'm going to put this through, or in my outer corner and in my inner corner, and connect it through my crease. Okay, so I've built that up. That's just like the best fucking blue. I love it so much. I'm going to go back into the Club Nebula palette and I'm going to take the shade Void. And I'm just going to use this to deepen everything up. It's a very, very similar tone to this blue that I already laid down, but um, just a little bit deeper, so it's kind of perfect. Okay, so I just finished up my eyes, I cut my crease, and then I did my under eyes just with all the same shadows. So now we're going to get into this shade. I'm so excited about this. I've been envisioning this look for a while. And I'm just going to wet that and then place this right in the middle of my eye. going to take this on my finger and just intensify this. This is a very flaky shade though. It's probably <clears throat> one of the flakier ones of the bunch, but it has such a beautiful, beautiful shine. It's like sunshine in a shadow. It's so pretty. And then for my inner corner, I actually think I'm going to take the shade Nova from the Juvia's Place palette. And just put this right on my inner corner. It's just such a beautiful inner corner shade that I feel like I gotta use it. And then for my brow bone, I'm going to take the shade Angelique from the Afrique palette and just pop this on there just as a little bit of a neutral tone for there. Okay, and this is the finished look. I'm obsessed with it. Frankly, I love this so much. On my lips, I used Makeup Forever and Liz Cacao because it's perfect in every way. And then I used the Fenty Gloss Balm in Diamond Milk because this lip combo goes, I don't know, perfectly with this um eyeshadow I love this like I said reserve number seven is a top top fave of this collection I use this on my inner corners 
all of the time and this might be the first time that I've ever actually used this on my lid and you can see the yellow is like still super bright really sparkly I I can't sing the praises of this little eyeshadow bundle enough so this is the last look officially I'm going to show you the <laughs> look 7.5 and then conclude this video all right so this is the um second look that i did using reserve number seven i used all of the same shades that i used initially and i just tapped this over the blue it looks really really pretty i just the problem is that it's difficult to show the shifts in this lighting especially when the shade is so sheer but you can see the blue shift if the lighting is like lower <laughs> and then the yellow just looks really beautiful on top and I think this would pair really beautifully obviously with a yellow shadow or even like a green. These shades are just so versatile and it's why I love them so much. So this is the final conclusion of this video. I just broke my favorite earring so I'm pretty sad right now. Um, but I'm trying to, trying to be peppy for this. Um, yeah, I, it was a long video <laughs> in the making. Um, I've been working on this for a while, but I just wanted to showcase these shadows because they're so special and I know I hear people talk about them like here and there, but I just wanted to really like showcase them and I just think they're so versatile in terms of doing like more structured looks and also doing like really blended kind of like shimmer all over the lid looks I just think they're so so nice and you can do so many color pairings with them I love them and they also just span kind of the range of colors I don't know you have your pinks you have your neutrals you have your blues purples you have this yellow which I think is such a unique shade I'm just over the moon I love shine by SD if you're in Canada even if you're not in Canada I would highly recommend you checking them out because I love them as a brand um and yeah I just think this collection is so so special and beautiful and very on trend in terms of like sparkly iridescent shades I would say my top top favorites if I had to choose like three I would definitely say oh it's this is difficult reserve my or uh, reserve number one is so beautiful such a beautiful inner corner shade especially if you like like pinky blue shades it's so pretty I also just love this shade reserve number seven I don't have any shadow like this I don't also see very many like iridescent yellow shadows so I just I use this all of the time I think it's so beautiful um, and I also just based on personal preference I love reserve number three this pink gold shade I think it's so beautiful but I will say I was so surprised by how much I love reserve number six if you like blues, even if you don't like blues, <laughs> this is so beautiful. And it has a little bit more pigment to it, I feel. Um, so it's it's nice to use as like an accent in a structured look or just really sheer it out and use it as more of like a toppery shade. Those are like my favorite favorites, but honestly, every single shade is really great based on like your color preference you're not going to be disappointed i can guarantee you that just know that they're like sheer sparkly shades that are a little bit looser they're not super dense they're a little bit drier to the touch but i love them i love them let me know um if you guys like this video if you want me to keep doing videos like this i really like filming them even though they take me like a while um, I just, I find them so fun. Let me know if you guys, guys have tried Shine by SD, if there's any, um, anything that you want to try by them. Let me know your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching if you made it to the end, and I'll see you next time. Bye!